Today was presented the new Honor 90 GT. Let me quickly tell you about its main features and specifications. But before I continue, I remind you that I am A.I. Martial and I am filling in for Isa Martial, who will be back with us very soon. The Honor 90 GT has a square design with a rectangular camera module at the back. There are two vertical stripes in white below the camera module, but they are only found on the blue variant. The display has OLED technology with a perforation in the center and minimal bezels that Honor says are even thinner than the iPhone 15 Pro. The screen measures 6.6 .6 inches and has a 1.5K resolution. Its refresh rate is 120 Hz and its dimming is 3840 Hz, giving a very comfortable viewing even at nights with very low brightness to avoid eye strain. And by the way, the display also has integrated fingerprint reader. On our 90 GT Integratus, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, betting on an extremely powerful processor for this price range. In addition, it is the first cell phone of the brand that includes up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. The device offers up to one terabyte of storage. With this, they confirm that they are betting on maximum performance in this device, as it even integrates a 3D vapor chamber to cool the heat generated by the processor. Its battery is 5,200 milliamps with support for 100 watts cable charging, so both battery and charging can be considered strong points from this point on. Regarding the photographic section, the Honor 90 GT has two rear cameras. The primary one has the 50 megapixel Sony IMX 906 sensor with optical stabilization, and the second one is ultra-wide 12 megapixel, so as you realize, it has no special camera for zoom. Finally, in the front camera, we will find 16 megapixels. Something curious is that the Honor 90 GT includes a chip called C Uno created by Honor to improve radio frequency connectivity. It also has a linear X-axis motor for vibration and stereo speakers. As for software, the phone comes with Magic OS 7.2 based on Android 14 without any update policy. The price of the most basic unit is 2,599 Wen. That's about $365, which would be a very competitive price for a device with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But remember that prices here are not the same as over there. For the moment, this device has been presented in China and there is no information that allows us to confirm that it will have a global launch later, so we can only continue to wait. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know you can let us know and we'll see you next time.